the Carib, Solaris, Cancun, Mexico. The entrance, it's all inclusive hotel. It ranges around 340 US dollars per night. Um, we only have one night here, so we'll see how the beach is compared to the other places we've stayed at, which are not all inclusive. Here's the entrance, walking through, walking up to. Decorated for Christmas, it's the 27th of December. This is our room in the uh, Carib Solaris. All inclusive, we chose this room. It costs about 340 on um, hotels.com. Small bathroom, but it looks pretty nice. Fairly up to date. Nice mirror on the wall. Basic amenities, toilet. Normal walk-in rain shower. Over here, small closet, ironing board, iron, hangers, safe. Small area, put your things away, extra pillow. And here, another mirror. You have an area where you can put your luggage and uh, appears to be stone. Um, large Samsung flat screen, uh, LED TV, new, king size bed, nightstands on each side of the table, plug-ins down here, you can charge your phone. Whenever we go into a room, a hotel, we always check the bed. We pull up the sheets, we look in the corners, we always look for bed bugs, anything. If there's anything that looks disturbing, we go and leave the room. We have not, thankfully, had to leave a room yet. But it's a tip, tip you should always do before you uh, get settled and uh, use the facilities in the room. On each side, large desk. Down here you have a Standard mini coffee maker with uh, some coffee cups and coffee, which is comes with the room. Uh, mini bar fridge, um, sorted uh, once a day. Uh, you can um, get it refilled every day if you need additional. Just give it a call. Give a call to the front desk. So what you have is a bare a bare bones selection, but you got a lot of water. Some four beers and some mixed soda. So everything's all inclusive, but if you don't want to run out for a beer dead at night, stay in your room, you got it. And just more storage. Writing area, seating area. Over here, you got an alarm clock. But both plugs are taken up over here. So technically you're going to have to unplug with either the light or the alarm clock. You're probably going to plug the alarm clock because you use your phone. There are no USB ports as typical what fancier, newer places would have today. But you'll find another, uh, you can use the light socket over there if you need another port. And over here we have a view of the front of the property, which is overlooking like a good lagoon area. And over this way, you can barely see the beach. We did not pay for the beach view, but you can see it nonetheless. It looks pretty decent, and I'll go down there and show you more later. At the Carib Solaris Cancun, you can go to the buffet, or you can have room service delivered to you. So, save you a lot of time.
Looks all right, tastes decent. So you can have it delivered for room service and it is included. This is wherever it comes to eat breakfast in the morning. It's like a self-service buffet and you seat it in there. Breads. Salad fixings. And an omelet station. It's overlooking the main pool. The internet seems to only work, the Wi Fi only works for, and only works in the lobby mainly. First floor you can get it, but we're on the fourth floor and there is no Wi Fi connection. Even the guy that helped us connect in the lobby says that that's a problem. And, and they all know about it. This is a small pool area. Get the towels down here. If you lose your card, you gotta pay 20 bucks. That's no good. Next to the pool area, the main pool area is a snack shack. Got a little help yourself buffet snack area. Little desserts. Hot dogs. Chicken wings. They can grill fresh hamburgers and hot dogs for you on the grill. And there's the giant jacuzzi. I know that bar over there. Just gotta show your uh, bracelet. It's two giant jacuzzis. I don't think I'll be spending too much time in the pool. This is a separate jacuzzi just for adults. And I'm not sure how I feel about a communal giant jacuzzi like this, but here it is. And then there's a separate one for all the kids and all the family, etc. Walk down from the pool area to the beach. Looks pretty nice down there. Looks really nice. Over on the north side where we stayed, it was smaller beach and, it looked, and there was a lot more seaweed that just stayed in the area. And just down from the pool area, you cut down into the restaurant here, we'll probably eat dinner at. You just cut through the restaurant to go down to the beach. There is a way you can come down there. Up there, I just didn't see where it was at. Large area to wash your feet off from sand after the beach. There are some lounger chairs here. At the Carib Solaris, the beach area, the thatched overhang. It looks like it's, it hasn't been fixed in years. It looks like black, possibly gross, moldy sand, whatever. I'm gonna go check out the beach. Slight downward slope to the beach.
in the background. That's the Solaris Scribe. These mini cabanas have seen better days. So a short walk over from the Carib Solaris. Walk down through the complex. And you'll find another pool area. Pools are small, usually full of kids. Burritos, little pizzas too. Sushi bar over here. See, here's the pizza station. That's where everybody's getting the small little pizzas from. Looks like it could be good. But I've seen some of them and they're yet to be determined. And the second pool area, just past the pizza places, has fruit, salsas, toppings for your burgers and for the wings and a soda station. Get up early enough and you can secure a good spot on the pool. No one's here. The beach is nicely combed. It's 8.30 a.m. Nothing's really set up till 8.30 or 9. Everybody sleeps in. Very large area to wash off the sand from the beach. Jacuzzi area. Beautifully manicured beach in the morning. They cleaned it up really nice. Tractor comes along, homes it.
Olá. Olá, senhor Chase. Hopefully we got here at 6.10. They open at 6 and uh, hopefully we get a seat to watch the sunset. Here's the menu for the Mexican restaurant and the Carib Solaris. Mexican restaurant is right outside the pool. So close. So we're at the Mexican restaurant in the Carib Solaris uh, Cancun and I think we're gonna get, we're gonna try the shrimp empanadas and some flank steak with cheese and some, uh, something like that. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.